everyone my name is Japneet Kaur and welcome and welcome back to this in Canada I hope you are all happy healthy and fine in this video we will talk about what are the university options for master's student in Nova Scotia and then we will discuss about how you can apply for permanent residency in Nova Scotia so without any further ado let's start our video and the first and the top university in Nova Scotia for master's student is Dalhousie University it is one of the top universities not only in Nova Scotia but all over Canada. It has its world ranking at 291 which means it's a very good university but it has acceptance rate of only 40 percent which is very low that means it is a very competitive university very tough university to get in but it is an excellent university to do master program if you have good academic record and you have good eye score you should apply to Dalhousie University it is public university and it was founded in 1818 so it is a very old university and very reputed university and many Nobel Prize winners and many Prime Ministers of Canada have graduated from Dalhousie University and also the first American woman to walk on space was graduated from Dalhousie University also CEO and chairman of if you have heard about Xerox company it is a very big company and CEO of that company has graduated from Dalhousie University in order to do masters from this university you need at least 78% or higher and you need I score of 7 band so it has high admission requirement and if you have that admission requirement you should look into Dalhousie University they offer wide variety of program almost all programs are available at Dalhousie University and the good thing about Dalhousie University is it does qualify for AIPP program that is Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program so if you are looking to do masters in Canada Dalhousie University should be at your list though it is very competitive and has high admission requirement but but it is one of the reputed universities in Canada moving forward to the second university in Nova Scotia for master's student is St. Mary University which has world ranking of 1611 with acceptance rate of about 60 to 70 percent so it is not very competitive and you can get admission in St. Mary University it was founded in 1802 so it is a very old university plus it's a public university it qualify for AIPP program that is Atlantic Immigration Pilot program and this university offer programs related to arts business and science for master students within arts program they offer programs like criminology philosophy history geography and many other programs and in business they do offer MBA for master students and in the science they do offer masters in applied science and computer and data analytics but in order to get admission in St. Mary University for example you want to get admission in computing and data analytics admission criteria is very tough you need to have at least 70 percent in your bachelor's degree and also you need I score of 6.5 with no less than 6 in each module and the admission requirement doesn't end over here you need to give a complete programming test which is administrated by the university itself and you need to clear a technical interview if you want to get admission in computing and data analytics if you want to get admission in MBA you need to have I score of 7 instead of 6 so do check your program specific requirement because it does vary from program to program and there are many notable people who have graduated from St. Mary University and the next two universities which we will be going to discuss today and I will be completely honest with you guys is that they are not very specific to master's program they don't have a lot of master program these universities are predominantly undergrad universities but they do offer some of the master's program which I want to discuss with you guys so if these universities have the program you are looking for they are good university but keep in mind they don't offer a lot of master program and the third university in our list today is Acadia University and the world ranking of this university is 1910 and the acceptance rate is very high which is 60 to 70 percent but they don't offer a lot of master program they only have 17 masters program which include computer science biology geography education and there are other programs but they are 
not many programs to choose. It was founded in 1838, so it's a very old university. It is a public university, which is a good thing. They have infrastructure, they are reputed, they have reputation in Canada. And in order to get admission in this university, you need 70% in your last two years of bachelor degree. And you need I score of around 6.5 with no less than 6 in each module. And the good thing is that they do qualify for AIPP program. So if you study from this university for two years, at least for two years, you will be qualified for AIPP program. Now let's move towards Cape Brenton University. Again, this university doesn't offer a lot of master program. Actually, they offer only three master's program out of which two are online program and one is in class program, which is MBA. And if you are looking to do MBA, this university does offer MBA, which is in class program. The other online program, which is related to master studies are masters of education and master of sustainability Creative. So for these program classes are online. So MBA is a good option at Cape Brenton University. Now what's the world ranking of this university? And the world ranking of this university is 2994 with 50 to 60% acceptance rate. So if you are looking to do MBA, this university does have good acceptance rate and it was founded in 1951 and it does qualify for AIPP program. So if you do MBA from this university, you can apply for AIPP program and get permanent residency. And you need 75% or higher in your bachelor's degree and also you need to give either GRE or GMAT. There will be also an interview for MBA students. So, so these were all the universities for master's student in Nova Scotia. There are other universities as well in Nova Scotia, but they're predominantly for undergrad degree. Now, what are the permanent residency option for the student who graduate from Nova Scotia? You can apply for permanent residency by two ways. That is no Nova Scotia nominee program skilled worker stream and the second one is Atlantic immigration pilot program. As I have told you, all the universities does qualify for AIPP program. That is, if you have studied from any of these four universities and there are some things to carefully look at AIPP program and if you have studied from these university, you can apply for AIPP program. Now, I have discussed in detail about AIPP program in my new Brunswick video. That video is very detailed. So, if you are looking to apply for AIPP program after getting graduated from any of the Atlantic province, you should really look at that video. I will highly recommend you should look at that video. It provides detailed requirements on how you can apply for AIPP program. But the other way to apply for PR after you get graduated from Nova Scotia or any other province in Canada is Nova Scotia nominee program for skilled workers. So under this program, you need full-time permanent job of a letter from Nova Scotia employer. Keep in mind the employer should be in Nova Scotia. If you have graduated from any other province, you need to find an employer in Nova Scotia. You need to have permanent full-time job. It should not be contract. It should not be part-time. And also you need at least one year of job experience in the field you have studied. So in the field you have studied, you should have job experience in the same field. But the good thing is that you don't need a high I score. If you are a skilled worker, you need I score of 5 in each module. If you are applying under semi-skilled or low skilled, you just need I score of 4 in each module, very less. If you have to apply in Ontario, British Columbia, you need at least I score of 6 band, which is very high. But I score of 5 and 4 is very low and it's easy to achieve and at the end you also need to show financial resources that you can sustain yourself in Nova Scotia but now what's difference between these two streams what is difference between applying through Nova Scotia nominee program under skilled worker and also Atlantic immigration pilot program so the major difference is that firstly under AIPP program, you don't need any job experience. But under Nova Scotia nominee program for workers team, you need at least one year of job experience. 
you need job offer letter under both the stream under both the programs you need to have job offer letter for both the stream you need job offer letter from an employer but you don't need any job experience under atlantic immigration pilot program so if you have graduated from any of the atlantic province and if you have a job offer letter that is permanent and full time job offer letter you can apply directly under aipp program you don't need to wait for whole one year in order to apply for permanent residency that means you will get your permanent residency but under aipp program you need to have your either degree diploma or certificate anything of at least 2 years and your studies should be of at least 2 years or more but under nova scotia nominee program under skilled workers scheme there is nothing like that you just need to have a high school diploma for reading you need 3.5 for listening you need 4.5 and speaking and writing you need 4 band in your ielts journal test so keep in mind you have to give ielts journal test whereas if you are applying for nova scotia nominee program for skilled worker if you are applying under skill category need i score of 5 in each module if it is semi skilled or low skilled then you need i score of 4 in each module definitely aipp program has less i requirement than the other stream but it is totally up to you if you can get one year work experience you can apply through nova scotia nominee program for skilled worker if not if you don't want to wait for one year and you have job offer letter from you can apply for atlantic immigration pilot program and the processing time for aipp is 6 months as specified on their website now decision is completely up to you you know what are the universities which offer master program in nova scotia and you know how you can apply for permanent residency after you graduate from nova scotia if we talk about nova scotia it does have a lot of job opportunities it is a very developing province it has lot of job opportunities whether it is part time or full time you will get lots of opportunity for job after you get graduated from any of these university i will be also making a video on nova scotia college and also manitoba college in future so do subscribe if you are looking for colleges in nova scotia manitoba or any other province i will be making lots and lots of video so please do subscribe and hit the like button and also share this information with your friends who are also applying and and at the end thank you all for watching my video i hope you like this video and i will see you in my next video till then take care and bye bye